Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis and Jean Pope may have been the two most unlikely neighbors in New York history. Both lived at 1045th Avenue. Jackie bought her 15th floor apartment in 1964, a year after President Kennedy was assassinated. Pope inherited his 22-room spread from his immigrant father. By all accounts, they were cordial, courteous neighbors. But outside, on the streets of Manhattan, it was a different story. Jackie O was the paparazzo's favorite target, her privacy constantly invaded. And Jean Pope? He was the owner of the National Enquirer, and he published many of those same photos. Generoso Pope Jr. started the Enquirer when he was cut from his father's will, by his own mother, no less. You are the abortion I should have had, she reportedly told him. Pope used this rejection as motivation. He bought a failing paper, the New York Enquirer, reportedly with the backing of his godfather, mob boss Frank Costello, and relaunched it as the National Enquirer, making it the nation's first tabloid. In 1969, Pope ran a highly unflattering piece about Jackie O based on an interview with her children's former nanny. Copies flew off the supermarket shelves. After that, Pope put Jackie on every cover he could, whether or not the story was true. Jackie fought back as best she could. She sought and received an injunction against famed paparazzo Ron Galella, who finally, in 1982, agreed, under the threat of huge fines and jail time, to never take her picture again. Ironically, Today, some of the most prized images of Jackie O were taken by Galella and published in Jean Pope's tabloid.